Hey friends, it's your friend Mosaic Mama coming to you after my workout, still in my workout gear. So I guess some of you can call me Hosaic Mama, but I mean, it is what it is. When I restarted my channel, I really told myself, you know what? Like, it's okay to just be yourself. Like you don't have to, when you first start a channel, I feel like I really tried really hard to be like the teacher. Part of me wanted to be like, okay, I have to present things perfectly. And I think I've gotten past that now. So, um, you know, everybody lives a real life, so it is what it is, right? But I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. Um, Jesus has risen. That's the good news. He might be coming back on Monday. In fact, I don't know if you guys have been watching, like, the news. Don't watch the news. James tells me everything that goes on. I never watch the news anymore. But he's like, CERN is firing some new like gamma beams or something. The sun is eclipsing. Thank God he told me about that because if it got dark in the middle of the day <laughs> and I didn't know that there was a solar eclipse happening, I probably would have freaked out. But uh, yeah, so that's going on Monday. And I thought Easter was just wonderful. It was so awesome to be around the kids and really they're like starting to experience these things for the first time. Like they haven't really come online until this point. Archie did a little bit last year, but now it's like we had an egg hunt. We hid Easter baskets. And then, you know, the the thing that happens after Easter, which is kind of like, oh, it, it's everything in my life seems to be like this. It's like I do things and I go all the way with them. And this is a real character flaw of mine. Is uh, It's a character defect, you may say. And so I went hard with the Easter candy. Too hard. Too hard. But you know what they say, when the pain is great enough, that's when we make a change. And the pain has gotten great enough. Not only has Jesus risen this Easter, so has diabetes. Diabetes, 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 diabetes. <laughs> And so I am, I am really thinking to myself, I need to make a change. I need to get healthier. I was with the, at the park yesterday with my kids and they are just the most amazing creatures. They were taking acorns. <clears throat> Don't mind me. I'm sorry if I sound kind of breathy because I have heart failure and that's another reason I need to get better. So I was taking, they were taking the acorns and they were throwing them in the river from the bridge and like just the sheer excitement of watching that boat go down the river was just awesome. And I realized at that moment, I have to be healthy for them. Okay. Like it's not about me. I have to be healthy for them. And in order to be healthy for them, I have to put my own oxygen mask on first, if that makes sense to you. When you're on an airplane and it's going down, you don't put the oxygen mask on everybody else. You have to put it on yourself to protect your child and I'm at a point now where I need to put my own oxygen mask on. So I have committed to working out in some capacity, moving my body for the next 30 days. When you set a goal, you have to have a reasonable timeline that's part of that. So with the next 30 days, I'm going to commit to doing 45 minutes of exercise a day. So I'm doing about 30 of those cardio, like, like 15 James is out there, 15 of them, like sit-ups, push-ups, whatever. So some type of resistance training maybe. And there's literally no excuse for me not to be doing this because I have an elliptical machine in my house. Uh, we spent money on it. We got it like we got it off of Facebook Marketplace. You can get so much cool stuff when people are moving. And the belt broke the first night. So we had to have a guy come fix it. And he was like the coolest kid. He has his own TikTok. I will link his TikTok because this kid was really... He is like this kid who is so wise. He was just amazing. So if you're watching this, Sander, if you ever see it, I don't think you probably will. But if anybody goes to his page, tell him you came for Mosaic Mama and tell him we loved him. He was like so good. He let Archie like play with his drill and he was just like, he was awesome. So his family owns a business. They repair treadmills in the Detroit area. So if you ever need somebody to work on something like that, hit me up. I'll give you their name because they were amazing. Anyway, so there's literally no excuse for me not to be working out. So I'm going to call this the Hefty Lefty 30-Day Challenge because I don't want diabetes. diabetes. My mother 
died a horrible death of brain cancer that all was linked to her diabetes. diabetes. She got overweight. Uh, she had gestational diabetes, diabetes. My sister, and it never was properly treated. She got a little overweight, so her blood sugars were just like slightly elevated for a long time. For, we're talking years. And it destroyed her vision. It destroyed her kidneys. Diabetes, diabetes. Is an insidious disease. It was horrible. And at the end of her life, she was like a very, very brittle diabetic. And, oh, just watching her suffer through that, it just still like, oh, it breaks my heart. And my mom was one of those. I was working out today, and I was thinking she was she sacrificed everything for my sister and I. She never bought herself new clothes, manicure, pedicure. What was that? She didn't know what that was. Uh, massage? Heck no! Like she, every penny she made, she invested back into my sister and I. And that's one of the things I feel so much guilt about now is how I felt. You know, I just. I squandered a lot of her sacrifice and the things that she did for me. And that makes me really sad. It really, like, I've had to talk about it with my therapist and my sponsor and put it on my fourth step. And then I've had to put it on my 10th step because a lot of things I do, I feel like I operate out of that shame. And um, I've, before my mom died, she told me, you know, forgive yourself and quit worrying, Kate. Those were her last words to me before she went into the coma. Stop worrying. It's going to ruin your life. So I promised her I would. I'm sorry. I get emotional. And I worry all the time about being sick and not being able to take care of my kids. And so I really feel it's important for me to get healthy for them. And so I've set a goal to exercise and try to reduce my sugar for the next 30 days. So if you'd like to join me, I would love that so much. Um, but my mom ended up dying pretty much because she never took care of herself. I think she saw that as being like indulgent. Taking care of yourself as a mother was just really like, that was not taking care of your kids and being an excellent top-notch mother. And as her daughter who watched that, I feel like it's the opposite now. Like I, my sponsor's always telling me, you have to love yourself. Compassion is the only way. Having self-love is the only way. In fact, I bought us these t-shirts from Target and it says self-love club. They're really corny, but I thought we're going to wear those one day. And it's true. Like she's absolutely right. Like beating yourself up for your mistakes, learn from them. Okay. Learn from them. But continuing to beat yourself up and shame yourself because like you have this need to self-flagellate and feel like you have to punish yourself, I have to let go of that. So um, what I've decided is that taking care of myself is a way of loving my children. Showing myself self-love is a way of caring for them. And sometimes love isn't always easy. Sometimes it's hard Um you know, like when my when I was using, I think my parents didn't understand the concept of tough love. They should have kicked me out. They should have not given me money. They should have let me get arrested or whatever was going to happen, right? Until it blew up within our family unit. They should have done that. It would have saved me so much pain and suffering if they would have let me feel the gravity of my own consequences before it became a crisis, so I hit this bottom this week with like the Easter candy and eating like crap and just like feeling like crap and recognizing I needed to make a change. And this change includes some, some form of self-love, which is tough love for myself. I have to tell myself, don't eat that ice cream, don't eat that candy, throw it out, drink more water and get on that elliptical machine and exercise taking that time for myself to put my headphones on and listen to Britney Spears. Don't judge me. It's a guilty pleasure, okay? And let those endorphins come through. Then I have so much more patience for my kids. I don't feel like I have to like walk out and woosah as often. I can really kind of be a lot more engaged with them because I'm not feeling all this cortisol surging through my body. When I take an hour to exercise, it makes a huge difference for me. And then I get all these wonderful, like inspiring ideas. Maybe I don't follow through with all of them about how I'm going to organize my desk. And I'm going to um, really start to be a minimalist and get rid of all the extra crap I have that I don't need. 
um, that's not working out really well for me. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm trying to purge as much stuff that I don't need. When you really kind of approach things from the uh, ment the eye of like trying to be a minimalist, oh my God, I have way too much stuff, way too much stuff. And I've donated a lot of it. Um, some of it I've had to throw out. It was just junk that was sitting here that had no use really. And my uh, sponsor, I, I always brag about her, but she's right. There's a couple of things. She says, is it useful? Is it beautiful? Is it something I really love? If it doesn't fit those three <laughs> criteria, get rid of it. And I've been trying to do that as much as I can with everything I can. I collect a lot of stuff. Like I had this, it was a Valentine's Day box, right? It was something that was given to me by one of the nurses when I was in the hospital losing my arm. And those nurses were really special to me, okay? Like they helped me so much. And so I don't wanna get rid of it. I mean, it's just like a garbage, like Chinese takeout little Valentine box. But I, it's so sentimental to me. So I haven't decided if I'm going to get rid of it. And I don't want to like show her name or her address. But I have my mom's driver's license. That's her. Does she look like me? Like I hold on to stuff. I just can't. I feel like throwing that away. It's like throwing my mom away. I can't do it. And that's okay. I don't have to get rid of everything. But I'm emotional about losing her. I've been really struggling with that lately and thinking about her a lot. And I have a video coming up because the most incredible thing happened here. Another one of those spiritual, like, oh my God. And um, I think it was Superwoman who left a comment. I may have said underneath it, can I use your comment? I think it was about the dog. I may be mistaken that your dog sees like apparitions. That's happened here. <laughs> And then somebody else made a comment about, um, I think it was Angel Baby did, about having a dream. And so I wanted to use, I want to start engaging some more of your comments if you're a regular viewer, if that's okay. If you don't want to have your comment used, please just like comment in the comment section. Don't use any of my comments. But I feel like if they're valuable, I'd like to use them to have a meaningful conversation. So um, anyways, that's about it from Mosaic Mama here. So we had planned to do the pasta today. And speaking of like priorities and self-love and things like that, we are going to go to church. Um, I feel like taking care of your spirit is really, really important. So we're about to go to church. And then afterwards, James said, I think we really need to stop by my dad's house. I'm really worried about him. He's isolating. And also, I don't want to put his business out there, but he's one of us. If you know what that means. So I really worry about him and losing his wife and like going into the spiral and we don't want to see that happen. So he loves the kids. Who doesn't love kids? I worry like I'm very suspicious of kids, people who don't like kids and not wanting to have kids. That's one thing. Okay. Like I understand that completely. That's a huge responsibility, but like not liking them, like hating children. That's a big red flag for me or hating animals. Like people who are like, I hate this cute little puppy and I'm, I'm going to kick it. Okay. That's fine. Stay away. Um, cause like, I just feel like how you're missing out on like the most innocent, most present beings in the whole world. They're just amazing. So we're going to take the kids over there and I know that'll cheer them up. You cannot be sad around these little toddlers. Okay. Like they are just, they are just the most amazing things. I made my younger son, I made him some eggs. He hates eggs, but I always they say, just keep trying, just put them on his tray, right? See if he'll see if one day he just decided to eat cheese. It was the weirdest thing. He just rejected it, rejected it, threw it on the floor. Then one day he was just like, so I'm really hoping he does that with eggs because if he does have celiacs, we need to have some good protein um, to help him. So I was making him eggs and he was like, mommy, and he's three, he's the tiniest little thing. Maybe I'll catch this on camera. And he'll say, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. You are so beautiful. That's what he said. He has a little girlfriend now. I don't know where he heard that. And it's just like, he's repeating things, but it's still, it's just amazing. He has a little girlfriend at school. Her name's Stella. And he went and he got to school one day and he said, Stella. And he just, he's so dramatic. He jumped off the stroller and he opened his arms up and he said, you look beautiful, Stella. And he went and gave her a hug. Oh my gosh. They are just full of love and joy. It's just the most incredible thing to watch. And I feel so blessed to be their mom. 
So anyways, I hope that you will join me on the Hefty Lefty 30 Day Challenge. And also, I don't know if we're going to be able to make the pasta today, just because I have a feeling everybody's going to get back from church and going to see my father-in-law and everybody's going to be really crabby and tired. And that's okay. Resting is a form of self-love. But I promise you, we will make those noodles. We have all the stuff. We have the semolina flour. We have, oh, I better get eggs. That's another thing. I've been eating eggs like crazy. Um... And I think we're all ready to do it. So I really hope you'll join us. We haven't decided on if we're going to do it live or not. A lot of it just has to do with time and the kids' schedules. They're very, very busy. They do nap sometimes, but some days they just, they're full of energy. They're not going to nap. So I try to go by what they're, the cues that they're giving off. If they need to lay down and, you know, have quiet time, sometimes we sit and read a book and we don't nap, but we just take a little bit of time to rest and read and they're both so amazing with their reading already. They're, they're just, their little brains are like sponges. Uh, my younger son, the one with celiacs possibly, he can associate a word to every letter of the alphabet. When we were in the uh, hospital, you know, we were getting the test and he's like, mommy, A is for apple. I'm like, okay, B is for ball. C is for uh, cat, and he we got all the way, he's like, X is for xylophone, and I'm sitting there like, wow, this kid's brilliant. I mean, he's three, but that's amazing. Z is for zebra, and every day I'll ask him, what does this word, what does it sound like if I say, this is a bub bub bracelet, what letter does it start with? He can identify those sounds, so we're really working on reading with him, and he's doing amazing, so... Um, but they're so different. My older son, he's very athletic and very much like a little gazelle out there. He can kick a soccer ball like it's nothing. It's just, they are, they come from the same two parents, and but their abilities and their talents and their gifts are so different. It's just amazing. But anyways, um, I think that's all I have for today. I just wanted to make a quick little, a quick, it was 16 minutes, but thank you for joining me on this journey. And Hopefully we'll be back soon making flour and I appreciate every single one of you. Please hit the like and subscribe if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it so much. Share with your friends if you think they'd like the channel. Um, if not, don't share, I guess. But thank you for being part of our life and our journey. And thank you everybody who leaves comments. I read them all. I'm sorry. I'm really so busy. I try to sit down and respond to them. I was doing that last night. I literally fell asleep in the chair. So please don't be offended if I'm not responding to you. I am reading them. If you need a response, just like re-comment and I will get back to you, I promise. But I really appreciate and love all of you. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon.